Hi, in this episode, we're going to be finishing the Micronauts Battle Cruiser restoration and review. I did part one of this video, and this is a actually four part video of a Micronauts haul that I've done, but I had to put this one into two parts so that you could see how I finished the box. Stick around and see how the box turns out. All right, we've got Q-tips, we have tweezers, and we have Zippo lighter. Fluid. Let's see if we can get all of this tape off of this box and uh, make it look a little bit better. So there's a lot of tape on this box, mostly in the corners. The corners have been all uh, probably ripped at one time. And uh, the things that hold this box together are staples. And it looks to me like those parts have come off this box. So i got to get all this cellophane tape off or packing tape i'm just dousing the box heavily with lighter fluid and trying to get a corner of the tape up very carefully i don't want to rip it and i'm just dousing it constantly the lighter fluid won't damage the box as long as you don't you know rub it too hard with the cloth or anything like that you're trying to get stuff off of it because it will take the ink off eventually so we're just gently pulling this up so i'm going to continue doing this slowly working my way to the corner and if there's any tears i'm going to try not to pull the tape away from the tear but towards the tear and towards the 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 corners that are damaged So I do that with all the corners. That was very labor intensive. It's gonna take a while. I'll do that off camera. It came out pretty good. I got a little piece here. I thought I could do it without the lighter fluid all the way down, because it worked really well on this side. But uh, it did take a piece off here. So I'm gonna be a little bit more careful um, taking the rest of this tape off. I'm also gonna take this tape off and see how this comes off. This actually might be a little bit easier than the other stuff. There we go. All right, I'll finish this up and then uh, and I'll clean up all of the the stickiness from the tape and we'll look to see what we have to do next. So as I'm taking this tape off, I haven't got to the corners yet, but I'm still taking this stuff off. This stuff has proven to be a challenge because there's two layers to this tape. There's a clear layer and then there's a layer with the adhesive on it with almost like a thread type layer. And, uh, and it causes it to be really strong tape. But what's happening is the clear part is coming off and separating because of probably the lighter fluid. But without the lighter fluid, um, it's it's difficult to get off because it's such a strong, sticky tape. And what has happened to a, a couple places where the tape came off, um, some places the tape came off really easy. And other places, this was happening 
not because of what I was doing, but just because that's what happened. So I've got the first layer off, but now I got to get the second layer off. So I, I doused this with a lot of lighter fluid and just kind of going the opposite direction. You get that second layer off. Like I said, if you can see that, it's like, it's almost like a thread or something. So that preserves at least this part. I can glue this all back on later on and it'll look great. But um, just wanted to show that because it's a different kind of tape that I've never um, had to take off before. So it's a little bit different than just regular cellophane tape or uh, the usual tape you find on these boxes. There, taking all the sticky stuff off there and uh, take it off the back because there was a little bit on the back. So I'm gonna let, um, I got all the tape off, at least the, the factory tape off. I'll take some more, the rest of the tape off the corners and I'm gonna let this box dry for a few hours and let all that um, lighter fluid just <laughs> evaporate. It doesn't take long because they evaporate, lighter fluid will evaporate pretty much uh, instantly, but when it's soaked into the box, sometimes it takes it a little bit longer. So we'll, we'll let that evaporate and then we'll come back and try to fix it. No one holds the corner or forge and tear. You don't want to get together, forge the tear, leave this one here this way, so that it um and that'll preserve blocks. But you can right there, forge it from this way, down to the edge here, and force the corner here, and then we'll put it around in the direction that way. All right, so here's our box. There's some of the tape. There's about a third of the tape I took off this box. Every time I took a piece off, there seemed to be another piece hidden somewhere. Sometimes there was three or four pieces of tape on top of each other. You can see on the inside, pretty much all the corners have been separated and ripped. Uh, that's why there was so much tape on it. So uh, there's still a little bit more residue on some of this parts. Some of this isn't residue. It's just what the cardboard um, just changed color from the tape. And it's been cleaned. Put a lot of Zippo lighter fluid. A lot of fluid on this. 
and uh, there are quite a few tears. There's a lot more damage to this than I initially thought, but I mainly got all of the tape off that I wanted to, and it does look much better now that the tape is off. There is a tear here, but that was already there before I started taking the tape off. There's a little tear here, like from the, the graphics. Um, this one I think I did myself, and this one I did. But, uh, you know, there was just so much tape on it, it was hard to figure out which direction to go. Unlike my Hornetroid box that I just did a restoration on i used an iron to flatten it out and i didn't find it did a very good job although that box was quite damaged on the top this one isn't too bad so instead of using an iron to try to get it to flatten out i'm just going to bend it back a little bit i don't want to um, damage the cardboard but i'm just trying to bend it back to its original shape that seemed to have worked pretty good, actually. So we'll stick with that, and uh, now we're going to try to fix the corners. First, we need some double-sided tape. This double-sided tape is quite thin. You don't want to use really thick stuff that you would use for carpets. This one is really thin, so we want to use really thin double-sided tape that's really strong. We're also going to need some very thin cardboard. And I also have some uh, paper here from a grocery bag. Now that uh, grocery bags are now made out of paper again, like they used to be from the 80s. I might use some of that to repair this box. We're going to need some scissors. A knife and a metal ruler. So I'm just gonna measure the box corner. That's how large we're gonna have to cut our piece of cardboard here. And I'm measuring three inches, seven eighths. So I'm gonna cut a three inch, seven eighths length of this cardboard here. This is a, uh, it's not super thin cardboard, like paper thin, but uh, it's cardboard that you would find in packaging and stuff like that. So I'm going to do um, an inch and a half wide because that's how uh, wide my tape is. It's an inch and a half. And then three and seven eighths long. And we're going to make that to fix the corners of these boxes. Now, if there's any part of the outside of the box that has been torn, make sure you don't put that on the inside because you're going to want to have the artwork on the outside so that you can glue that back together. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It seems to be really strong. I'm going to continue that on to the other three corners and we've got some other tears that we have to deal with too.
Now I have a large tear here, it's also in the corner, but it's on the side. There's a little tab here that's uh, a little part that's part of the artwork, so we're not going to want to, you know, um, make sure that that's on the outside of the box. I'm just going to measure how long the tear is, or three quarters of an inch from the corner, because that's half of the width of the corner piece that I made. So now I'm going to just measure from the, from where that starts to a little bit past where the tear ends. And I'm going to do the same procedure, making a corner piece for the top. I need to glue the corner back together with the um, corner pieces that I made. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this wood glue and I'm gonna put it inside the corner here. Use a paintbrush to paint it on on the inside. Just gonna put a piece of plastic in between the glue joint and I gotta get something that's heavy. I got this from a friend of mine when my wife and I bought this house. I'm gonna be using this, it's really heavy, it's made out of metal and this will hold that corner down really well. While that's corners drying, on the bottom of the box, I found this sticker stuck to the side of it. So we gotta get the sticker off, figure out where it belongs on the battle cruiser and we'll reattach it. And inside the box, there are two more stickers stuck in there, but those are damaged, so I'm not gonna bother trying to pull those off and put it back on the toy. So I can see that from the instructions that the sticker belongs on the pistol, and it only belongs on one side of the pistol. In the instructions, it shows it goes on the other side, but on the other side is a bunch of writing that is raised, so I can't put it on there. Perhaps that's why it fell off, is because they put it on that side. I'm going to put it on the other side where it's nice and smooth. It's not in the greatest shape, but... It's the original sticker, so I'll stick with that. No pun intended. Next, I'm going to take these layers that were peeling off of the box. I'm going to begin with my glue stick again, gluing all these layers back down on the box and uh, letting those dry. There's quite a few places that this happened, and there's a few places that has happened because of tape that uh, had pulled it up from, you know, 
the original owner of this toy. So I'm going to fix all of those parts too. So we can now put the top on the bottom. There is our box flattened out. All the corners repaired, all the tape taken off of it. And all the pieces that were pulling off glued back down. I think it turned out really good. It seems strong and a lot sturdier than it was before. And I think it looks really good. So I hope you enjoyed. That's uh, part B of my Micronauts Battle Cruiser restoration and review. I think this is a fantastic toy. So thanks for watching this episode of Toys Bag Zen. If you enjoyed this video and I've earned your subscription, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell for new videos coming up in the future. Leave a comment down below. I try to answer all the comments as much as I can. And I always like to hear what my viewers' thoughts are on the videos that I'm creating for you guys for the entertainment and for maybe some information for you to do your own restorations or perhaps wanting to buy the toy because uh, you've seen it here. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.